bounds. Welcome back guys, this is episode 15, I am suffering with a cold at the moment so I apologise if my voice or energy is low. Um, so yeah, it's the start of a new season, I'm going to go through the same things I do all the time. I've got uh, 750 grand to spend on new players, not much in wages, 3 grand isn't too sad. So the Elgato or my computer itself might have crashed twice in this video. Uh, while recording it, it's, I noticed it started getting laggy, so you know, I'm actually doing a voiceover rather than actually talking while playing. I did try my hardest to get Rodriguez back, he was my beast last year. As you can see, he went up to 20 grand a week, so had a little bit of trouble trying to get him, and trust me, I did try. Um, Korea was another player that I wanted back, he scored 13 or 14 goals last season. Um, again, his wages went up. He's a 69 or a 70 overall um, ideal for this season. I need a strong striker. I don't think Mark has what it takes to be that main striker this year. Korea did really well last season. Um, so yeah, basically you'll be seeing me for the first little couple of minutes of this uh, episode will be me looking at players to bring in. Free agents, as you can see it started getting a little bit glitchy here. Um, there's a few minutes of this. I bought in Libmen. Champ uh, champagne I bought in, uh, I think I bought Dyer in, and Memphis I bought in as defensive backup. I realised that all my defenders were on loan last season, so I came into this, this season with four defenders being two left backs and two right backs. Uh, again, Volman came through as a free agent, so I thought I might as well grab him and run. This was probably the most upsetting part of the episode. I sold Bay. Um, and I think I only got 6 mil for him. I feel like I should have asked for more, but the uh, the price above, the recommended price above, was nowhere near. Um, and the money that I got with the 6 mil, I was able to get Korea um, and quite a few players on loan. I bought in Mansella, my backup goalkeeper for this season. Hopefully he'll get a few more games. Um, but yeah, basically, as you can see, I'm just going through... Uh, picking some players, I, I seriously need a massive increase in squad, I've got a quality team, I just need to strengthen it and, and get more of a team around. A 70 overall, although when I played him, he was actually only a 69 career, as you can see, is so close to signing for us. It started getting really glitchy here and I believe I paused it and carried on. Shenton's gone out on loan um, and I've sent out my scouts to the correct countries. I'll probably show you that in a couple of episodes time when I have some money to look at the scouts. Uh, but apart from that, the scouts are done, my lineup's done, that'll probably be shown a little bit later in the game. So my big aim for this season is to get promoted and get into the championships. I don't want to be in League One forever. I don't want to be playing FIFA 15 forever. 16's already out. I'm still playing 15 just to finish this season off. Luton Town need to get promoted this season. I can't carry on playing it. So as you can see, scouts are out. I'm looking for new players. I'm strengthening the squad. Tongue's there. Tongue's going to be my beast in defence this season. He's been proving potential. Nunzella's signed. Kone signed. I'm bringing in some players. And hopefully they're mid-60 to 70 players. I don't want them too high because obviously championship and premiership players or teams even will be looking for them to be bought up. I need steady players that will slowly get built up, ready for the next league so I don't have to keep buying them. So as you can see that is my lineup, And here is where I, I believe I paused it and restarted it. So there you go. I've just swapped hard drives hoping it wasn't my Xbox that was causing any issue so I'm signing into my profile on the new hard drive same Xbox so I was basically hoping it was the uh, lack of memory on that hard drive so basically I swapped them over um, but that didn't help I still it still crashed as you can see I played three games and lost out on all of them because of how laggy it was I lost Drew and Drew so I basically got two points um, and for the rest of this match, uh, rest of this episode, we'll show you the rest of the matches. That is my lineup: three, four, one, two, and I have kickoff. Um, Durant's playing. I ended off in this uh, episode having about four Durant's playing for me. I've got a goalkeeper, and obviously my striker. Um, I get a uh, winger. I'm not sure if he's playing in this match, but as you can see, 
starting off with a brilliant start, like always. God, my voice is really hurting me at the moment, um, so I'm sorry if I talk a little bit quieter from now on. Uh, Champagne, first touch of the ball, I believe. Probably not, it's 45 minutes in. Uh, Rufa, my main cam. I'm upset I got rid of Burke, but Rolfer, Rufa, whatever you want to pronounce his name, he will be my key cam player. Rufa, Korea, and Mark up front. I can't see that being too much of an issue. They are three solid players. Uh, I've still got Clue and uh, Cookie. They're both having fights over first place. It's so hard to pick. But as you can see, he's the one that scored. Will he play for next game if he's fit? Probably. And that's the final whistle and the first game that actually records I won 1-0. Not a bad start to the game catcher side of things. The second match is against Pompey. Uh, G's a legends team. Not his actual team, but the team that he, he plays quite a lot on his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so I've got Kim and Cookie. Cookie's playing. Um, Clute was obviously too tired to play. Uh, and I'm three minutes in and it's glitchy as anything. So I know that... That was a painful tackle. How was that not a free kick? I wanted a free kick there all day. Uh, and and clearly, that's a yellow card. That's clearly a yellow card. The thing that you saw a second ago wasn't, but that was. Um, I think it might be in this episode. It, it crashed again, so I'm not sure if this will be a full match. That's a brilliant header. That's so unlucky that wasn't on target. Mark to Serik. And I know where this is going. This was an amazing goal. Look at that. Look at that. Cookie. From two games, my left mids, both of them, Cookie and Clute. That is just perfection. They just they keep stepping the class up that one level, level at a time. Look at that. Look at that. There was no way the keeper was getting to that. He didn't even know where it was going. I don't even think Cookie knew where it was going. A little bit of a deflection, I think. But look at that. Bottom corner. All day long, 1-0. I'm happy with this. If it finishes 1-0 at 6 points in 2 games from my left mid. I might as well just play them two up front. And Mark's on the ball and look at that. Was I wrong earlier by saying he wasn't strong enough to be that main striker? Or will him and Korea set up that perfect partnership up front? I'm building a really strong team right here. Korea and Mark up front. Cookie and Clute on the left. Sirik and Gomez on the right. Rolfa as that cam player, I'm just needing to build on the defensive side and my CDMs. I'm really enjoying my keeper at the moment, he's been playing perfect in the few games I've played. I know I've let in quite a few goals, but as you can see, two games, two clean sheets. And this is the third match, and it's against Blackpool, the team that last season you would have known me as picking all day long. Blackpool were my team. I'm upset about how the team's been brought up and looked after in the last few seasons um, it was my championship team clearly because I thought that they were, they were a solid team at the, in the days you know Incy and Phillips on the on the wings you had King Kevin up front uh, obviously times have changed and they're now desperate for the players but you know I'm still hoping them all the best this game was so difficult to play because I didn't want to beat them um, Lib Libman, the guy that I bought on a free agent, scored 23 minutes in, and that, I honestly thought that was a powerful blast from how far away it was. I didn't think it was going in. I thought it was going high and wide, but obviously it didn't. Um, and unfortunately, very soon after, I had a counter attack that was very scary. <laughs> so Simon passes it to Madine, Madine, um, Orlandini. I think he used to play there a few years back. And obviously, uh, Hernandez, not the Man United Hernandez, scored a header from a poor defensive set. Look, how can you beat up Champagne like that? I get fouls like that all day long, and they don't... He used to be a Luton player. I keep cutting out what my conversation was because I'm watching this match again. It's been a few days since I've recorded it. And that's him again, isn't it? That's... He used to play for Luton. He gets a yellow card and then scores like that. Bastard. If it wasn't a youth team, I probably would have kept him. I know he's a really good player. Oh, and that's three. I'm clearly not beating Blackpool. 78 minutes in, and it's just not my game. Look, I mean, three goals against Blackpool. 3-1, 3-2, 3-2, possibly the final score right there. Mark scoring it again. That's two games now, two goals. 
my bitchiness of he might not be the best striker for me, trying to prove me wrong. And final whistle was 3-2. I was really gutted I didn't win this game. Even a draw would have made me happy. Um, I'm upset that that bastard scored, but whatever. I've got six points out of two games earlier. This is a guy that I was hoping for. Um, he was a 69 after signing him. I'm not sure how that happened. Korea, look at that. My striker from last season's back on a permanent uh, purchase, and that guy never. That guy that you just saw there in yellow, I never signed. I was going to keep him as backup. Oh Rodriguez, I was so close to signing you, and I couldn't afford it. Ashley Thompson, a cheap alternative, hopefully. Kone finally signs for me. So earlier you saw me going through the contracts. Um, I didn't think I signed this guy. I don't think I know if I'm signing him now. Oh, okay, I clearly signed him. I don't think I played. I've put. I don't think I've put him into my team so far. Lugo. I think that Lugo guy looked really promising, but his wages were just crazy. Being a PSG player, he was on like over 10k, or he was on 10k. 10k, yeah. The rest of them, I had 21 grand. I was trying to work out. I was trying to work out who I could sign for 21 grand. Um, it took me a few minutes. It, it's probably because of the cold. I am really good at maths. Uh, especially up to 21. The the five players that you see, four of them add up to 21 grand, leaving Lugo. So I don't know why it took me so long to realise that. But as you can see, I've signed everyone up, strengthened up in my midfield, strengthened up in my defence. I've bought in a few strikers, as you saw earlier in this match. Um, and I'm thinking about changing my formation to a 4 4 2 diamond formation. Um, and that's probably how it's going to look for the rest of this season, depending on how well it goes. I wasn't too keen with three at the back at the end of the season. I did let in far too many goals. Hopefully four at the back will change it now. Um, and as you can see, I've got a big reserves like quantity of size. Maybe not the best of players, you know, early 60s, but they are all young. And they're all hopefully going to uh, go up throughout the season. That is my lineup. That's probably my best lineup for this season. I know that a few players were out on internationals for some strange reason. Um, I didn't think they were high enough to be, but you know, maybe maybe the, the countries that they play for are these smaller teams. I'm not going to complain. Uh, hopefully the internationals will help them grow as well. I'm playing Millwall and to be honest this game, they were very, very, very defensive in this game. I, it took me forever to actually score a goal. I, I, as you can see, even when it was in the box, they had three players around me at least. That was a lovely header. Lovely header to Korea. Korea in this match had a good five or six shots on target. And every single one of them missed. Just everything like that. Just It was really annoying. He came back hungry for a goal. Hungry to prove that me signing him for that amount of money was worth it in League One. Hungry to prove that he can score more than 13 goals in a full season. And every shot he had was either wide, above um, the goal net itself, keeper saving it. And what the hell happened there? Slow motion, that bitch. Um, seeing that slow motion, I know what's coming. And this was a horrendous corner. I hopefully wish that that was a goal. Uh, Tung, my left back, taking it on his right. Scoring a superb goal from at least 25 yards out. That's a 90th minute goal on his wrong foot. And he's probably just won me the three points here. In fact, I know he's won me the three points here. The whistle blows very soon after they do this kick. Um, this game, if it wasn't for Tongue, it was, if it wasn't for my left bat, if it wasn't for the guy that I said last season reminds me of myself, I would have drawn that game. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully the cold will be gone by next week.